This movie is similar to Judas and the Black Messiah because the government is threatened by black people and they want to take them down by any means necessary. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about the United States versus Billie Holiday. It's a Hulu movie starring Andrea Day and Trevante Rhodes. You may know him from Moonlight, Bird Box. Uh, the movie is directed by Lee Daniels. And the movie follows Billie Holiday. Um, she's a singer and she's singing this song, Strange Fruit. And it's about lynching. And the government at this time is just so afraid of black people. They don't want her singing this song. And every time she goes to perform, the crowd is like, sing Strange Fruit. And she's like, I can't. Or her manager is like, no. Her first husband is like, no, don't sing the song. And the government wants to arrest her for singing it because it's causing riots. But that's only a misdemeanor. So they go another route. And it's the fact that she's addicted to drugs. And she had a rough childhood. I wish the movie would have showed more of her upbringing. Um, because she she had a rough life, you know, she was in prostitution at an early age because of her mom and she just went through a lot of different things. So she was on heroin. She loved heroin. She was she was on heroin. When she was performing. And that was the government's chance to to get her. You know, the Federal Bureau of Narcotics were on her case. They it it wasn't a under it was undercover in a sense, but not like how Judas and the Black Messiah was somebody was like with the Black Panthers for a long time. Um, this government, this agent got close to her and ended up busting her she sent her to jail for a little bit she got out and they had like a thing you could tell it was like a a little fling a little romance and the movie veers off into them building this romance and this chemistry and i didn't really enjoy that part of the movie because it was a lot of it was focused on him and his character rather than focusing on her and you know her struggles and the things she needed help with um so they would go back and forth with each other he would be on tour with her and it just was showing the fact that the government hated black people and they wanted him to find her with heroin as much as possible so they can get rid of her and put her away and in one particular moment she does sing the song strange fruit even before that she goes to sing the song i think in philadelphia and it's just the fbi with a bunch of cops and her husband always told her, don't do it, you know, and she starts singing the song and she get, she doesn't even get a whole verse out and they storm the stage and she just leaves and she's frustrated. And this movie shows that she was let down by the men around her, black and white. All her husbands turned on her. Her first husband had to deal with the FBI to pin her on some drugs. Her second husband or boyfriend or whatever tried to plant drugs on her so she could get arrested. Her third husband had her in the hospital and the FBI questioning her. And it just shows that she had a struggle and she needed help. She she needed some therapy. Uh, when she got arrested the first time for heroin, she lost her cabaret card. So she couldn't perform in venues that sold alcohol. So that really messed up her career in terms of just earning bigger bucks. She sold out Carnegie Hall, but it was other venues she couldn't perform at because she lost her card and she couldn't get her car back. She was still singing. She was still trying to go on tour. But the government was constantly on her back, hounding her. And that's what this movie, it's its a sad watch because she just, she needs help. And the government is constantly on her and whoever is around her. And they're trying to get everybody to turn on her because she's singing the song about lynching. And they don't want her to sing that song. But they're trying to say, oh, yeah, she's a drug addict. So that's the reason they're after her. But it, it was because she was singing this song, Strange Fruit. And I, I say, go listen to the song on YouTube. It, it's a powerful song and they didn't want her voice being heard and it was very sad that even while she was dying they arrested her and that's like one of the final scenes where you see her laying down and it's a handcuff on her on her foot you know and she's she's dying um it's a it's a solid movie but it is a tough watch because you know just seeing her just go through all this andrea day was fantastic um, as Billie Holiday, she, she sang most of the songs, I believe. Um, and it was good watching her on screen because she was really into the character. And I think this is her first role, but overall as a story, it's sad because it's another movie where 
the government is out to get a black person um, for no particular reason. You know, with Fred Hampton, they couldn't really find anything on him. They arrested him for, for ice cream and then they eventually killed him. And, and with her, she had her drug addiction and the government used that and still arrested her while she was dying. Um, if, if you have a chance, I, I would say watch it because you learn a little bit more about Billie Holiday. Um, but again, it's a tough watch. Um, but if you watched it, let me know what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Deuces.